Welcome to Moo Moo Math and Science. In this video, let's learn how to find the least common multiple and the greatest common factor of four or more numbers. But in fact, this would actually work for three. So what I like to do is use a prime factorization technique. So I'm going to start with a factor tree of six, and that's two times three. Circle both of these because they're prime. And then eight is two times four, and then two times two. Circle the prime numbers. And then 12 is two times six. 2 times 3, circle all of these because they're prime. 24 is 2 times 12, 2 times 6, 2 times 3. Circle all the prime numbers. Now, this next part is what I think makes it really easy. You create a little chart. So I'm going to write the numbers 6, 8, 12, 24. This just keeps it nice and organized, and you don't have to really remember a lot of rules. So I'm going to write the 6. We've got a 2 and a 3. For 8, 2, I'm going to skip the 3. You'll see why in just a second. For the 12, I'm going to write the 2. I'm going to go ahead and write this 3 right here, and then the other 2. And then for 24, I've got 2, I've got 3, and it helps to keep the columns nice and neat, 2 and 2. So, now all you do for the GCF is this. You basically multiply these variables together, but you use this rule. If you have um, two or more numbers in the columns, in other words, you have this common prime factor in all of these numbers, then you only bring one number down. So, I will bring, since I have four twos, I'll just bring down the two. Here in this column, I have three threes. So I just bring one three down. I have three twos in this column, just bring one two down, and I have two twos in this column. Now if you had three numbers, you would do the same thing, except instead of having four numbers, maybe in one column, you'd have three as the maximum. Now all we do is multiply this together. So we have two times three is six, and then six times two is twelve, and twelve times two equals twenty. So the LCM of 6, 8, 12, and 24 is 24, okay? Now, for the GCF, I'll go over how we do this. Now, for the GCF, you just follow this rule. Notice I've got the same chart, and you're looking for a number, that a prime number that is found in each of the four numbers. Obviously, if you had three numbers, you'd only be looking for three. So since I have four twos, I'll bring down a two. You only have three, so I won't use the three. I've only got three twos and then two twos. So that tells me that the greatest common factor is two. Now, if there are no numbers that are found in all four of these numbers, no prime numbers found in all four, then the GCF is one. Okay, now the GCF is two, but now I need to add something. What if, just by chance, now remember, I am adding this, so I'm going to circle this. This is made up, okay? What if I brought down and I have four twos, and then I also have four threes? So I'll, I bring both of these down, and then all you do is you would multiply the two times the three, and the GCF then would be six, okay? So I wanted to point that out, just so uh, you won't be confused if there are more than one number that you bring down. Uh, that is found in all four numbers. Okay, in this example, we're going to find the LCM and GCF of 3, 9, 18, and 27. And to speed things up, I went ahead and created the factor trees. So I'm going to create the most important thing, the chart. So here's the chart. Okay. And now I write the prime numbers. 3 is just 3. For the 9, I've got 3 and 3. For the 18, I'm going to skip over the 3s, and I'm going to write the threes of 18 here, okay? And then for the 27, I've got three, three, and I'm going to skip the two. So now you know the rule. If you have um, more than one, you just bring one of the numbers down. So I've got three of the prime number three in all four numbers. So I pull down one, three, and one, three, and one, two, obviously, because we only have one, and then one, three. So now for the LCM, I just multiply these together. 3 times 3 is 9, times 2 is 18, and then 18 times 3 
is 8, 16, 24 equals 54. So the LCM is 54. And now for the GCF, there's only one number that is found in all four of these. Notice that all four. So the LCM equals 3. So I hope that helps you in finding the LCM and GCF of four or more numbers. Thanks for watching, and Movie Math uploads a new math and science video every day. Please subscribe and share.